Hello. In this video, I want to show you how to upgrade uh, this Elo Touch ET uh, 1537L 15 inch touchscreen to our UB54 series LED lights, LED kits. This kit comes with one LED drivers, two LED strips, two aluminum foil, and one wire adapters. Okay, let's set, set that aside first for the LED kit. And uh, again, the model is ET1537L. Uh, this touch screen is uh, pretty easy. You now there's all screws one, two, three, four. You see this? You just have to remove the screws, 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 and then you take the touch screen out. I already did to save some time. So just when you after you remove the screw, you just pop it up. That's it. The screen's out. The touch interface is out. And here you go. You know. And See this one already took out this small cover, so um, you had to remember you had to take out this one to disconnect this touchscreen uh, ribbon cables. And the next thing we need to do is the screen. Here is screen, right? We need to access screen. Uh, screen was holding on a small screw on four size, which is I already took it out already. You see that one, two, three, four. I took it out. When you took it out, I'm gonna do it like this. So that way you see better. You see that slowly? You see the, you see the wires here? Okay, let me see this one. See that? So you disconnect the the inverter cable first. Or if you want to, you can do it like this. It's easy. You pop it up, do it like this. How's that? See that? So then you just use a screwdriver to push it up. See that? Okay, and then flip over. Let's put it this way so you see better. Flip over, you see, you see the wires. Just disconnect it. Now we set aside the chassis. <coughs> so this is a screen. It's using a uh, Changwa, the screen part number CLAA150XP01P. So next section, I'm going to tell you how to upgrade this uh, two CCFL to our UB54 series. So, I mean, the first we need to remove the film. The film has, there's a uh, lot of plates. I already strained out already here, 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 here. So as you see, I'm using a cardboard, easy to transport the, the liquid glass. So um, just use a small flat head. Just do it one side at a time, see? One side at a time. You take it out, this side. Okay. All right, we'll take it out. Go like this. So slowly peel off this tips. This. All right, set that aside. <coughs> now you're gonna flip over. Oh, remove this small screws here. Okay, that holding the interface board. Okay, one. Oops. Two. Flip over slowly, peel over. Oh, there's one more here. Okay. Just pull this one out. Now this is uh, the same with the diffusion chip. We just removed the liquid glass. We had to take this plastic film out. Before we do that, on the back there's a four small screws. One, two, three, four, holding the uh, plastic film. So we had to take it out. One. And uh, two, three, four. We take it out, we flip overs, and then we use a small screwdriver. Oh, you just, you just, oh, you can just take it out, you push this side, 
just push it like this. Yeah, you take it out. All right, this is the whole assembly. You're gonna set that aside. Okay, so you see the, the, the light was mounting here. Let's take a look how the backlight was mounted. I'm gonna set that aside this one, okay. So, this one was mounting here, here, okay. So let me take a look at this one. Okay. And then here's our UB series. UB series is not gonna fit in. So the only way we should mount, if you take a look the this plastic film, see part of the plastic film is inside with this aluminum foil. Okay, and, and, and aluminum frame. So this is how it was mount. See that? That's inside. So the only way to mount is mount these on the plastic frame. Alright. So let's set that aside. And of course, we cannot use this anymore. Before we test install it, we need to test the LED light, make sure everything works. And so before we install the LED backlight, we usually we test it, make sure all LED light lights up uh, correctly. So we just hook it up, um, just do the pre-test. And I need the power supply here. And Perfect. Okay. All right. Disconnect it here. This is uh, set it aside. Again, since this this is a plastic film, um, since this part of the plastic is inside of the metal film, so we had to mount it in plastic. So in that case, we're gonna set it aside this one. Okay. Um, this is it. Okay. Okay. So let me see the direction first. This is gonna be like this. Yeah. Okay. So the wire should come up from this side. This side. Alright. Next thing we need to do. Okay, oops. The diffusion ship pull was off a little bit. Okay. Okay. Remember when you remove this plexiglass, by the time you put it back, there's one side is really smooth, the other side is rough. The smooth side is always facing the diffusion sheet, okay? If you mixed up, uh, you can see the picture, but you can see a lot of small dots, okay? So just be careful. I'm going to set that aside here for a second. Let me take care of this. Alright, there we go. Okay, we're going to mount it like just like that, see that? Just like that, and yep. <clears throat> okay, peel off. All right. Kind of push it down. Kind of push it down and backward. So when you push it down, make sure it touch all the way down, okay? So this is uh, plexi gas, when you put the plexi gas. Yeah, that's about right, okay. So, the other one. Here we go. Oh. All right, do the same thing. Push it down, backward, push it down. Just push it down and now it stick to the plastic. Next thing, you gotta make sure it's clean. Okay, 